Instead, this gives us the discretion to say, okay, someone just made a mistake, didn't see the sign. Or A local suburb is cutting concealed carry owners a break for breaking the rules. Tia Ewing is live in Orland Park with the controversy surrounding that move. Tia. Well, Don and Corey, let's talk about what the rules are right now on the books. An officer could actually cart you off to jail for carrying concealed in a prohibited place. Even if you have a license here in Orland Park, you could get a verbal warning or a ticket. And that has some people questioning the motives behind that move. There are 40 entrances into Orland Square Mall. Some of them have this, a sign letting you know you can't bring a gun on the premises. Other entrances don't have the same warning. It gives our officers the opportunity to use discretion um, where somebody may make a mistake. Just two weeks ago, Mayor Keith Peacock signed a new ordinance into law decriminalizing any concealed carry permit holder who mistakenly takes a gun into prohibited places. One is to just give you a verbal warning, right? Say, please return it to your car, right? Another option would be to, to write you a municipal ticket. And in that case, you would go to our municipal hearing. There's no other local jurisdiction in the state with a similar ordinance. Criminal justice instructor Mike Brown questions why Orland Park would need the ordinance in the first place. I, I don't even know what the purpose for this would even be because police officers uh, even before this act, they have discretionary authority in terms of what they choose to actually enforce. Orland Park Police have only charged seven people with carrying concealed guns in prohibited places. Brown questions how the new ordinance will be implemented and who will be impacted by it. There were seven times they actually arrested someone for that, and nine times out of ten, you know, need, need we even go into the statistics of who the arrestees were, what were the circumstances surrounding that, did they push the officers? Did they push an officer's buttons? Was it politically motivated? And the fine for CCL violators is anywhere from $150 to $1,000 per violation. And that violation is not reported to any state concealed carry permit regulators. Live from Orland Park tonight, Tia Ewing, Fox 32.